Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chrisman XMNN, and for today's video, we're going to talk about top 10 essential applications on your smartphone featuring the Huawei Nova 5T. Alright guys, so if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for you to get notified for my future updates and to show support to my channel. Now before we get into the video, let me shout out to these following peeps. Shout out to Cody Maverick, Vazoni07, Kenji Red, Exotic TV, and lastly Marky Tikala. So let's get into the video. Alright guys, so the first application on the list is the universal copy. So what does it do? Um, this application is very helpful whether if you are going to copy a text on an image, for example, for a code. Now if you want to copy the text from this picture, what you need to do is enable universal copy. And your Nova 5D or your device will um, inform you that the application will now copy or capture everything on the screen. So start now. And then just tap and hold it and you will be able to copy the text on the picture and as well as applications such as Facebook sometimes or other applications would not allow you to copy the text let's say um, when you open Instagram and when they uh, provide a caption you cannot copy the the text so what to do is to copy the text is to enable the universal copy and then tap and hold the screen and you will see the text here and then you can copy the text so this is a very help helpful feature when you are receiving pictures that has a lot of text and you want to um, copy the text from it the next application on the list is the gb instagram this is not found in google play store but you can actually check my previous videos i actually discuss or feature this application on my um, previous videos so what does this GB Instagram do it will um, provide you different sets of themes you can change the look of your Instagram for this I have the dark mode with blue bluish accent you can actually um, download or check my previous videos and at the same time you can download photos from your feeds and as well as stories you can download the videos and pictures as well so if you have time you can check this out and let me know your thoughts about this application the next application on the list is the button savior non root so what does it do it actually provides you sets of buttons for you not to use the physical button of your device for example um, let me tap this arrow here you will be able to see here the back button the recent application or recent activity home volume and as well as you can add um, shortcuts there's a total of nine applications that you can use for example this so if you have time please check this application this is actually useful and it's actually nice and you can customize the buttons you can drag the buttons at the side and hit that home button back button or even volume you can actually control the the operation so this is a very good application um, if you have time just check this out the next application on the list is DuckDuckGo Privacy Browser. This is the only browser which really protects your um, security. Unlike the Google Chrome browser, it actually provides your data to advertisers. And if you really value your, your privacy, you can actually hit this up. And this is actually a very good um, browser which will not let your personal data be sent to any other sources. So. This is a quite a good browser guys and it's fast. It's like Google Chrome as well. So when you open it, let's say I'll uh, search something like Nova and there. It's very fast and intuitive and as well as there are encryptions that are being implemented on your browser so that your pers personal information or your browsing history will not be sent to any advertisers the next application on the list is the google keep notes and list this is a note-taking app which is a very helpful tool for me and maybe for you as well because this application synchronizes to the google servers even if you are going to use a laptop and you and you just log into your um, email you can also see your notes on a laptop or any other device which has google keep or google keep chrome extension 
or through the website as well using a different device so what is this this is a note-taking application of course um, you can actually add here uh, photos image drawing recording or audio recording or checkboxes and you can add notes here and you can also change the look or labels you can color um, coding or color code the, the look of the notes as well one feature that I really like about this application is that you have the search for your notes you can just type in the, the keyword for example comic and it will auto populate all those notes all those notes who has the word comic so that you can easily search for your previous or old notes so if you have time just give it a try the next application on the list is the Adobe Lightroom mobile application. This is a very advanced tool for you to edit your photos, exposures, and even um, you can add presets to your pictures. For example, I actually have I actually downloaded presets from other creators, which they provided it for free. For example, um, with this kind of presets, you can just tap a preset and then tap this portion, and then you can copy the settings. You, can, you will be able to see the profile color, the light color, effects, details, and optics. You just tap on this check mark. And after that, go back to the picture that you would like to apply the preset. For example, this one. You just tap this option here and then paste the settings. And you will see the, the color has been modified to look like the presets that we have copied from. The next application on the list is Picnic Photo Filter for Dark Sky. Dash travel application so this is actually a good application if you have taken photos on a weather which the sky is not very good to look at um, let me um, demonstrate that one for you so let me open the gallery and let me um, pick some photos which I would like to change the sky for example this one this is actually really a good sky already but there are sets of sky filters that you can use from for example this it will really change the sky guys and it's a very nice photo editing app if you have taken if you have taken a photo on a scenario where in the the sky is so gloomy you can actually change it to match the to match the looks that you would like to have on your phone and actually you can change the filter how intense the filter would be so this is a very nice application if you have time just download this application while the application is still free okay so the next application on the list is touch retouch so this is a photo editing application which is a very simple one which primarily focuses on removing unnecessary objects to your photos so let me demonstrate how it works so let me open one picture here that i would love to um you know edit for example this object here this one i don't like that one so what i'll do here is i will um brush this one and then release and it will remove the imperfection of the of your photos so this is a very nice feature if you have photos taken and there are um, people at the background or objects at the background you can actually use this application to remove those f objects and make the photo perfect the next application on the list is PixArt photo editor so this is an application which I use a lot for my um, thumbnails and as well as creating um, posters and let me demonstrate how does it work there are a lot of things that you can do here using the pix app uh, the pix art application for example if i want to cut out a person and then change the background so let me um, open an example here for example this one now i want to cut out the the person and then i'll need to change the background so what i'll need to do here is to use this cut tool and then we have here free flow cutting or if you want to automate or or if you want to let PixArt automate the cutting process, just tap on this one. And then it automatically cuts the the person. But sometimes it's not perfect. You can actually um, modify this, this one and then just tap on the paintbrush and include some portion of the body of the picture. And then if you are satisfied or if you want to double check, you can actually check the 
the cutting process of the application and then you can actually save it okay for example I'll, I'll save the the photo save and then I want to have a different background so let me just open for example this one as a background and then I'll just add the photo or another photo on top of this background let's say this one that we have cut a while ago and voila we can resize and change the location of the photo and this is a very helpful application for you to um, create creative photos posters or more of a an art as well so if you have some time just check this application this is a very helpful application as well and just give a time to explore its features so this is so this is the feature that i really love about this application and and as well as you can actually add more fonts on this application so if you have time just check this application the last application on the list is called a floating calculator. This is basically a calculator, a minimalistic calculator, which will float on top of any screens that you have. So this is how it works, guys. And you, even you can um, calculate and also resize the size of the calculator as well. So this is a very helpful feature or application that you need to have because of its usage and you can actually uh, calculate when you are reading something or checking something on the website and as well as you can also integrate it using the button savior this one and launch the floating calculator you can actually resize it based on your preference okay so these are my top 10 application on my nova 5d or any android device and if you have some application or top 10 applications that you are currently using and enjoying please share that at the comment section below and i would love to read those comments so once again this is chris Man. thank you for watching and see you on the next one peace bye, -bye.